Live from your news leader, this is WTAJ News at 6. A Somerset community on edge once again after a mobile home bursts into flames. Plus, a former Penn State football star's killer now facing charges. Good evening to WTAJ News at 6. I'm Lindsay Kennett. A former Penn State football player's alleged killer has been charged with murder. Police say the former Penn State player, Sean Schellinger, was stabbed to death late Thursday night in Philadelphia. His alleged killer, 20 year old Michael White, turned himself into police. A vigil was held in honor of Schellinger last night. And a vacant trailer burst into flames at a mobile home park in Somerset County. Somerset County, excuse me. Investigators suspect it's the work of a serial arsonist. It happened just before 2:30 a.m. If confirmed as arson, it will be the 10th unoccupied trailer set on fire at Cherry Lane Estates in Somerset Borough since May. The last trailer set on fire Friday morning. Investigators have interviewed persons of interest, but can't call anyone a suspect at this point. Pennsylvania Crime Stoppers is offering a cash reward for any information. And state police do not suspect foul play in the death of an 18 year old boy whose body was discovered at a Somerset County reservoir. Investigators believe that teen, Joseph Dubix, drowned at Queen Mahoning Reservoir on Monday. After searching all week, crews finally found his body Saturday afternoon. The investigation is ongoing while autopsy and toxicology tests are completed. Queen Mahoning Family Recreation Area is closed to the public until 10 a.m. tomorrow. The community now showing support for Dubik's family. Head over to our website to learn more. And three Missouri police officers were injured in a shooting today. Kansas City police say the shooting happened on a local highway. Police are still searching for the suspect. And police in Cambria County are investigating an early morning wreck. 911 officials say a pickup truck rolled over just after 7 this morning on Route 219 between Waterdam Curve and the St. Michael exit. One person was injured and taken to the hospital. No word on that victim's condition. Some Jefferson County residents will lose power tomorrow night. A planned power outage is scheduled tomorrow night from 7 to 10 p.m. while Penelec crews work on a substation. The outage will affect home and business owners in Brookville Borough, Rose and Knox Townships. If you have any questions, you can call Jefferson County Emergency Services. From WTAJ, your weather authority, here's your weather now. Well, we had some rain to start off the day, a little bit of a break where we saw some sunshine, but yes, then we did have some more showers and thunderstorms popping up, and Doppler showing we still do have a couple of spotty showers through some of our northern areas, but we do have this one thunderstorm just south of Johnstown, extending through northern Somerset County, just in the north of Somerset there, right along Route 30. Kanama seeing this right now. This can be bringing some heavy rainfall in a short period of time, and as we've seen with some of the thunderstorms earlier today, we have had some heavy rain in just a short period of time. In fact, Bedford was under a flood advisory for about an hour with one, one thunderstorm that was sitting just over top of the air. But if we look at temperatures right now, we're into the 70s to the south where we've had some rain farther to north, not much in the way of rainfall. Temperatures still into the 80s. So a closer look right now in New Baltimore, New Paris right now at 73. We're 76 in Everett, 82 right now in Saxon, 84 in Tyrone. Belfont currently at 87 degrees. We're 86 in Benisset, also 86 right now in Brookville. Now as we take a look with future track, we'll have a partly cloudy sky through the overnight hours. We'll continue to have a stray shower or thunderstorm early tonight. I think after midnight we'll dry out and just have that partly clear sky, but I do think we will have some areas of patchy fog developing by the morning hours and it will turn out to be another mild night with dew point temperatures right now that are into the 60s and the 70s and not dropping much below that tonight. So low temperatures tonight. Again, on that muggy side, as we'll be into the 60s to right around that 70 degree mark. But what else can we expect coming up for the rest of the work week? Well, we'll continue to stay muggy tomorrow, even on into Thursday. That will allow us to ha continue to have some showers and thunderstorms. The good news is we'll start to become less humid by the middle of the week, but I will have more details on all of that coming up. If you like to lace up your hiking boots or hop on your bike and hit the trails, a local recreation group wants your feedback for a new trail in Johnstown. The Johnstown Urban Connectivity Plan will link the September 11th National Memorial Trail, the Mainline Canal Greenway through Johnstown, all the way down to the Flight 93 National Memorial. Now, organizers want your take on where to build the path through the city. There's a public meeting this Tuesday at 6 p.m. at Bottleworks Arts Center in Johnstown. 
and an artist in York, Pennsylvania says he may have just painted the largest mural in the state. Photojournalist Anthony Durso has the big reveal. I like the underdog. So I like to create something that gives power to the underdog, gives power to somebody who, in a general sense, wouldn't have power. The most important thing to me is creating something with content, creating a cloud effect, lay down some colors. The beginning process doesn't look so great because it's just a bunch of blotches. I go by JMH, and I'm ultimately creating a mural here. It's a 9,000 square foot mural. It's ultimately paying homage to those people who are really behind developing America and, and putting the bricks together to make America what it is. It's a long process, putting things down, overlapping things, putting more stuff down, overlapping more stuff. I'm just looking at the whole thing and before I put something on the wall, I, I have to absorb it. I have to feel that it's the right place to put it. This is uh, week two. Ultimately now we're at the phase where uh, everything's laid out. All the prep work is done. We're just laying down some color, doing a little detail. The closer you get towards the final product, you need to be a lot more detailed. Just making sure every detail is right. 9,000 square feet means time. It's going to take a long time to finish it, and you know the main issue is just weather. I think it's awesome. I like to see what people think of it. You know what people say about it. This is incredible. So basically, I'm just finishing up doing a lot of the uh, the final details. The building kind of takes on a life of its own, especially from a distance, like seeing it from different spots. So it starts with this concept, the, the fabric of this flag, kind of leaving the, uh, the hands of the creator of this. And it goes to the draftsman, who is responsible for taking the idea and putting it on paper. And then we have a bunch of workers who are ultimately putting together the pieces of the flag and, and creating something along the way. And the flag is becoming more developed. As it becomes more developed, there's more people with their hands on it. When it finally reaches the end, the flag is, is complete. The people that live here are responsible for making America what it is. And I, and I really hope that that's what resonates in this piece as people pass by. A fire department in Johnstown is hosting its annual festival this week. The 88th Ferndale Firemen's Jubilee kicks off tomorrow night. There will be carnival rides, a parade, food eating contests, and fireworks. The Jubilee runs through Saturday, July 21st, and the fun starts every night at 6.30. And later this summer, runners will race for a good cause. The Rotary Club of Rockwood in Somerset County is hosting its annual road race on August 25th. There's a 5K, 10K, and a half marathon. The event raises money for projects in the community. You can sign up for the race online or the day of the event. A group devoted to reducing violence in Johnstown is hoping a home-cooked meal will bring the community together. Hope for Johnstown is hosting a free spaghetti dinner this Thursday night at Johnstown Middle School. The event will raise money to help fight violence in the city. Anyone is welcome to attend, but you should reserve your tickets tonight. Just check out the Hope for Johnstown Facebook page to learn more. An iconic Johnstown restaurant that closed reopens its doors tomorrow. Coney Island officially reopens Monday morning. The downtown Johnstown restaurant closed its doors last summer after 101 years in business. Another local business owner bought the restaurant to save that piece of the city's history. It's the history. You know, it's all about the history of, of what Coney Island has represented to Johnstown what they've done, how many people they've served, how much of a, a blessing they've been to people. The grand reopening is tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Ahead on WTAJ at 6, why today is the perfect time to enjoy a sweet treat. Plus, why a tech powerhouse says the latest technology could be dangerous. That story ahead. Stenson Kitchens and Elegant Bathrooms have one thing in common, the timeless beauty of fine granite and marble from CSI Countertops, using only the highest quality stone from around the world. CSI uses the latest and greatest in fabrication technology available to shape and polish your countertops with incredible results. Combining this technology with an artesian touch and being crafted, installed, and serviced by experts who share your vision is what makes CSI the clear choice for your next project. CSI, upholding the very highest standards in countertop craftsmanship. Meet candidate for governor Scott Wagner. 
the ultimate Harrisburg insider, the number one champion for big oil and gas. After drilling lobbyists spent $60 million to avoid paying their fair share, Wagner blocked a shale tax. When Wall Street was getting rich charging excessive fees on a retirement savings, Wagner sided with Wall Street. And as corporations evade taxes in Pennsylvania, he's against closing loopholes. Scott Wagner, the very worst of Harrisburg. Sisney and O'Donnell is a proud sponsor of WTAJ News. WTAJ News continues. A major tech company is asking the U.S. government for more regulation when it comes to facial recognition technology. Microsoft's President Brad Smith says the software needs to be regulated more because of its potential for abuse. While the technology can keep people safer and help police find suspects and even missing children, critics warn it could infringe on privacy and lead to illegal surveillance and monitoring. If you like to beat the heat with something sweet, you're in luck. Today is National Ice Cream Day. Many ice cream shops and restaurants are offering special deals to help you celebrate. The average American eats more than 23 pounds of ice cream a year. And we'll continue to have some showers and thunderstorms for the first part of the work week. I'll break down all those details with your complete forecast coming up. I'm so on it. I know, you're so good. Oh! Do not mess with Messing. You're going down. <laughs> Deborah Messing and I face off. Next, Rachel. Rachel Ray, Monday morning at 9. You may not realize how important three letters can be. For a person, though, who needs type A, B, or O blood, these three letters could mean life. Without more donors, hospitals may not have the blood needed to save lives. That's why the American Red Cross needs your help. Restore the A's, B's, and O's that are depleting each day. Donate at the Blair Media Blood Blitz July 17th. Visit redcrossblood.org forward slash missing types to make your donation appointment today. WTAJ is proud to support the American Red Cross. The deals are heating up during the summer of Subaru at Johnson Subaru and Dubois. Get financing as low as 0% on stylish and dependable models like the 2018 Impreza, Outback, Forester, and Legacy. That means low payments on this great lineup of vehicles. Subaru was named best family car, lowest five-year cost to own, and best resale value by Kelly Blue Book. Get your hot deal during the summer of Subaru at Johnson Subaru, Route 119 south of Dubois. Online at johnsonsubaru.net. Hey, Gus. Hey, Nikki. So what's the scoop? Scoop? Who can pick just one scoop? Well, I'd say that one's mint for me. Sweet choice. Just like this. The newest scratch-off from the Pennsylvania Lottery. Yep. It's $3 million Pennsylvania Club. Wow. With top prizes of $3 million. You can't top that. Well, maybe with sprinkles. <laughs> Keep on scratching. It's Best Sinesta Awning and Shade Sale. 50% off. That's right, 50% off. 50% off retractable awnings for your deck or patio. 50% off retractable screens for any open area. 50% off window, door, and porch awnings. Plus, we have 0% financing for up to 60 months. Select from over 150 colors and dozens of styles. Call now and have it to enjoy this summer. This offer ends tomorrow. Schedule your free consultation. Call 1-800-292-5594 or visit mybestwindow.com. Are you struggling, having pain or difficulty doing the things you love? Answer Physical Therapy could be the answer for you. Our well-trained staff provides education, teaches about prevention, and will help you meet your goals. We spend the time with our patients, providing a therapy plan that's best for you. Call your doctor today. You have the freedom to choose the best answer. Answer Physical Therapy. Come as a patient. Leave as a friend. Fiori Furniture is a proud sponsor of WTAJ News. Now, your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Matt Riddle. Well, we had a disturbance move through late last night. That brought us a few showers and thunderstorms to start off today. Those did move out by 10 o'clock. And then we started to see clouds breaking for sunshine. And with that sunshine, that did allow for some showers and thunderstorms to pop up during the afternoon and evening hour. We're still dealing with some of those. But as we take a look at the Almanac for Altoona, a high temperature of 86 degrees. So that's 4 degrees above 
Our average high temperature of 82, and it was a muggy start to the day. Look at that, a low temperature of 72 degrees. And high temperatures, again, a little bit above average. We were in the lower to middle 80s throughout the entire area. And right now, Clearfield at 87 degrees, 890 right now in Emporium, 82 in State College, a little farther to the south, where we've had more rainfall for today. Already into the 70s, 75 right now in Johnstown, we're 79. Currently in Altoona, and on top of that, it is still rather humid. Our dew point temperatures in the 60s to right around the 70 degree mark. So tonight, setting up to be another humid night, and will still be humid on Tuesday. And then once a cold front moves through on Tuesday, look at that. We'll be down in that noticeable range, but not like what it has been the past couple of days. And Doppler right now showing most of the area is clear. We do have a couple of light showers throughout parts of the area. We do have a heavier shower though. Thunderstorm right just around the Kanama area down to Route 30 there, seeing some heavy rain fall along with that one. Doppler right now, we did have a thunderstorm in Mount Union, it's since moved out of the area, but for tonight, we will be partly cloudy and muggy. Again, low temperatures falling down into the 60s, and there could be some areas of fog developing by the morning hours. So if you track for the day on Monday, we will have a mix of clouds and sunshine, and then we'll have a cold front approaching. Now, it's not going to make it to our area on Monday, but still ahead of this front, warm and humid, and I think it'll bring us a shower or thunderstorm in some spots, again, mostly during the afternoon and evening hours. Then we'll be variably cloudy through the overnight hours. There could be a shower or thunderstorm run, but I think the better chance of showers and thunderstorms will be on the day throughout the day on Tuesday as that cold front starts to sink through and then high pressure will start to build in behind that during the overnight hour. So your weather authority forecast for tomorrow, clouds and sunshine. Again, a shower or thunderstorm in spots, but another warm and humid day. Those high temperatures into the 80s and getting well into the 80s in some spots. Again, right around that 90 degree mark. And then a little cooler on Tuesday, still humid though. High temperatures getting into the middle 80s, scattered showers and thunderstorms, that high pressure Brings us plenty of sunshine Wednesday and Thursday. It will be less humid. Those high temperatures getting into the lower and middle 80s. Some showers and thunderstorms redevelop on Friday. The humidity starts to pick up, and those showers and thunderstorms will continue on into Saturday and Sunday, where we'll have those high temperatures into the lower and middle 80s. Coming up next, a deadline approaches for one Steelers star looking to break the bank. Plus, the Altoona curve represented well at this year's MLB Futures game. We tell you how they did next in sports. Get free injury help fast. One click, that quick at EdgarSnyder.com. Meteorologist Christy Shields, your weather authority every morning. Today we're finally getting our bathtub redone. We weren't happy with it. Oh, we didn't want the headaches of demolition. Or the days without our bathroom. Then a friend told us about Bath Fitter and their unique tub over tub process. There's no demolition and they install in as little as a day. They also have a seamless wall for a watertight fit. And Bath Fitter has a lifetime guarantee. What a difference. Finally a bathtub I love. Call today for our best offer. For quick solutions to your license problems, see Dunkel Services, a PennDOT authorized online messenger. Instantly renew vehicle registration and non-commercial driver's license and leave with a license plate in hand. Instantly replace registration cards and tags. Replace or restore driver's license and get fast online vehicle title transfers and temp tags. Commercial or apportioned truck matters. Register or transfer your boat, snowmobile, or ATV. And full notary service is offered as well. Dunkel Services in Altoona or Bedford. State and service fees apply. Finding the perfect home starts with Remax.com. Featuring 5 million bedrooms, 4 million bathrooms, plus every detail ever. Find the listings you love and the agents who can get them at Remax.com. That's the sign of a Remax agent. Addiction from prescription painkillers. It can ruin families. If someone you love suffers from addiction, stemming from a doctor's prescription for any sort of opioid, or a loved one has died from a prescription overdose, you may be able to hold drug makers accountable. Call the Cochrane firm today. We represent victims of addiction from opioid abuse. Call us or find us on the web. It can change your world. Cars and trucks cost less in Claysburg. See Ziegler Chevrolet for a fantastic selection of new and used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Ziegler Chevrolet, 100 years of doing business the right way. 
Enviro Pest Control is a proud sponsor of WTAJ Weather. WTAJ Sports with Jack Washer. About eight on the road. And another big gain, and he takes off inside the 20 to the 10. Keeps his balance, and he's close. He's out there. Almost miscommunication. Bell gets it. Bell turns on the speed. Le'Veon Bell rings up six. He's so good in these scramble situations. Dumps it to Bell, and Le'Veon Bell takes it in for the touchdown. Well, over time, the salaries of NFL players for most positions have gone up. But the running backs, they really aren't seeing that growth. And that's where Le'Veon Bell steps in. Bell currently set to play on the franchise tag for the second consecutive year, valued at $14.5 million for this year, has until 4 p.m. Eastern tomorrow to hash out a long-term deal. Bell has said repeatedly he won't play for anything less than the money he will be getting this year on an annual basis. Head coach Mike Tomlin said yesterday he's hopeful something will work out. Otherwise, looks like the Steelers again won't see him till the end of August. Okay, the Pirates were supposed to be planning for the future, getting ready to sell their assets at the trade deadline. But Clint Hurdle's team obviously missed that meeting with how they've been playing of late. Buckos winners of five straight and seven of eight going for the rare five-game sweep today against the Brewers. And this will help the cause. Corey Dickerson, a two-run blast just over to Clemente Wall, putting the Pirates ahead 2-1. The Brewers, though, would build a 5-3 lead into the bottom of the ninth. Now 5-4, two out to David Freeze. Reminiscence of his clutch moment in Game 6 of the 2011 World Series ties it with the triple. So we go to extras. And then after Milwaukee, again took the lead. Pirates sounded their last out and in a downpour. Josh Bell smokes one over the head of Lorenzo Kane. Colin Moran being waved in by Joey Cora. The ball goes between the catcher's legs, and that'll do it. Pittsburgh sweeps the five game set. They win it 7 6 in 10 innings. The spike's just getting underway with Tri City tonight, but we go to their big league affiliate, the St. Louis Cardinals, who fired their manager, Mike Matheny, last night after six seasons. His temporary replacement, this guy, Mike Schilt. Schilt was the bench coach for the Spikes all the way back in their inaugural year of 2006, and today picked up his first win as manager. The curve looking to take four or five from Erie wrapped up their series this afternoon. Picking up Pedro Vasquez on the bump for the curve. No score in the second until Daz Cameron cracks a two run shot to put Erie in front. 2 nothing. Vasquez would struggle most of the day. More damage here in the second after the Wolves get two more runs. It's Cameron with the liner to center to score. Danny Woodrow, 5 nothing. Erie after that. Fast forward to the sixth. Same score until Altoona gets on the board. Third baseman Logan Ratledge blasts one deep to left for the solo home run as the curve falls to Erie. 7-1 was the final. The MLB Futures game featured a couple former Curve players, Mitch Keller, but wait, hold on. That's not who he played for. He played for the Altoona Curve, not Birmingham. Somebody's not paying attention at the MLB Network. But Keller would go one scoreless inning, including that strikeout right here. And then Key Brian Hayes, the other Curve player playing in it, after drawing a walk in the third inning, Hayes up in the fourth, and he absolutely unloads on that. His manager, Tory Hunter, he's loving that. Curve represented well at the Futures game. That game still going on. We'll bring you full highlights at 11. And finally, the World Cup final today between France and Croatia. After France took a 1-0 lead, Croatia responds. Ivan Perisic gathers it and then volleys it into the far corner to tie the game up at 1. But it will be all France after that. 3-1 now in the second half. And you always got to play the hits for the encore for the final game. So here we go. Oh, yeah. Kylian Mbappe seals it for France as they win their second World Cup in 20 years. And the party is on in Paris. All right. So, what did you think? All right. So, Jack gave me some scorecards. One says, um. The next, shaking my head. 
and finally a 10. So I think I got to give you a 10. Wow. Very I generous <laughs> judging by Lindsay. Oh my. I think you did your. Oh, I can only go down from here. I feel like you had to you really knock me down a peg or two. And so I can build myself <laughs> up. So next weekend, you know, I can We'll just raise the score next time. So I can go up to like a 15 Keep or 20. Keep with your vocal exercises. <laughs> Keep practicing. We can, we can go even higher. You're, you're too kind to me. <laughs> Uh, right. Riddle, one more look at the weather after the break? Yeah, we'll be right back. I think we could do that. Caparuccio Plumbing and Heating is there for you 24 7 for the easy to get to jobs, the not so easy to get to jobs, and for the big dirty jobs. Our team of professionals get the job done and done right. And with the only full service dunk truck in the area, we make sure the community is breathing the best air possible. For all of your plumbing, heating, air conditioning, and excavating needs, call Caparuccio, a part of your community since 1976. At J&E Guns in Belfont, you'll find a knowledgeable, enthusiastic staff ready to provide hands-on customer service in an open, pressure-free environment. Check out our selection of Liberty Rifle Safes, Cerakote, the world's toughest firearms finish, Yeti brand products, Hornaday Reloading Products, Mag Pool Parts and Accessories, Black Rifle Coffee Company brand coffee. So, stop by today at 125 Rock Rim and Drive in Belfont. We are just up the Benner Pike from the Hot Dog House. J&E Guns, handling all the components for the shooting sports. Pennsylvania family struggle and Tom Wolf's answer, higher taxes. Scott Wagner's solution, more jobs and higher wages. A self-made businessman who started with nothing. Scott Wagner grew up on a York County farm and built a successful waste business from scratch. A man who really understands how families can struggle to make ends meet. A fighter on a mission to protect our paychecks. Scott Wagner, the straight-talking, trash-hauling businessman for governor. Hi, I'm Debbie Eckenrode, your local farmer's agent. Let me help you make informed decisions about your coverage. WTAJ News continues. So we told you earlier that today is National Ice Cream Day, mm. but what better way to celebrate uh, a birthday than with some good old-fashioned cake? That's exactly how two pandas at a zoo in Germany celebrated their birthdays this week. This giant panda turned eight today, so he dug into a fruity birthday cake while his friend Meng Meng also treated herself for her fifth birthday. Mm, I don't think they share, though. I don't think they're going to be the kind of pandas that share. I don't know. I, I would not want to get in the middle of that eating frenzy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, I mean, they could have just used some ice cream, too. <laughs> had it all. I know. Ice cream or cake. What do you guys think? Mm, I, I go cake. Most of the time, cake. Can I have both? No. <laughs> but I want no, both. Can't. Nope. Nope. Can't. Sorry. It's the rules. Cake. All right, Matt. So what is the weather looking like? Hot and humid. Oof. Said it yesterday. Same thing for tomorrow. High temperatures mm. getting well into the 80s. Still humid on Tuesday. The good news is we'll have plenty of sunshine Wednesday, Thursday. The even better news, not as humid. And those high temperatures do drop a little bit as we'll be right around the 80 degree mark Wednesday. Right, well, Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you at 11.